How about that? Are we here now? <laughs> yeah, tech diffs. Okay, I, I, I see the volume happening. So anyways, we're... <laughs> We're doing a new setup, and so uh, this is, I got a, new, a different camera angle here. Uh, we're doing that so that you can see my hands while I'm working. We're here to make my Halloween costume this time. Um, and uh, well, I, starting from kind of seeing uh, what I'm wanting to make, and then from there we'll, uh, yeah, we'll actually make it. We'll go through it all. I'd, I've been wanting to craft streaming, but obviously it's a lot easier to craft uh, gaming. So that's what uh what's happening um so yeah without without further ado actually with some slight further ado i um i'm planning on playing some music and i don't i w what i don't want is this to be muted or taken off so what i'm going to do is play the music f for me and not show it but share what i'm listening to so you can find this album on Spotify or Tidal or Bandcamp or wherever you want to watch this stuff. I'll probably, I might push the limit sometime and play some bootleg stuff that uh, probably won't get taken down. But uh, for now, um, if you go and find uh, the Matson 2 play The Love Supreme, I'm going to put that on the background. We'll keep it up. You should be able to see it uh here as it goes and no uh yeah be able to tune into it so yeah let's uh let's get rolling i'm gonna start those tunes uh you can too if you want to jam or you know listen to whatever you want don't don't let me uh you know tell you how to lead your life um and we'll we'll let's start looking at stuff so what am i being for halloween that's a great question i <laughs> in a broad question like just there's so many things that you can be for halloween i was telling someone uh a, a week or two ago about how i go back and forth between um being like something like being something from something and being uh just a a thing like not not necessarily uh recognizable uh, entity. So last year I was uh, Italian Spider Man. That's a thing from a thing. Um, I think the year before that, uh, I don't. You know, I don't remember. I might have been. I, that might have been the year that I was uh, one of the fish creatures from a town called Panic. Um, before that, though, just like was a bird. Uh, my partner and I were were uh, birds that dance. Uh, those crazy dancing birds. So, and we did that j swapped. So that was fun. Uh, this year, I was toying with being the king of of Seatopia uh, from Godzilla versus Megalon. That's a pretty weird guy, uh, and he has sideburns. So that would have been easy. Um, but yeah, anyways, Lane, I saw uh, this this photo on Twitter, and it was the stupid Twitter thing where it shows you people you don't follow. So I saw it and I said, "Wow, that'd be a great, great Halloween costume." And then. It uh, disappeared from me forever. However, I was able to look it up, and I will share the phrase that I used to Google this, so you can Google it too and see uh, what what's out there. Um, I, sh I put this on Twitter while I, while I was thinking about it after I found some. Um, but let's, uh, yeah, let's let's check it out. Whoop! Uh, this this thing this here. I'll point uh, there. <laughs> Getting the angles right. So uh, the phrase I used after I saw this was uh, weird radar ears. Um, and uh, I think this is a vintage uh, aircraft listening device. If you look up weird radar ears, you'll see lots of them. Um, this is, I think it's a Dutch, I believe it's Dutch, uh, prototype for some mobile ones. Um and uh, there are a lot that, like, before radar, people would, it would be your job in the military, I guess, to listen for planes. And they had these huge apparatuses. Um, so this is some weird long-distance hearing on the go. Um, <laughs> so if we look at, <laughs> we'll just get into it. I, so right now, we're, we're, I, I've collected some of the materials. I've kind of sketched this out on my own just to make sure that it's not um, impossible. But... Um, like what what we're looking at here uh, from a core standpoint are just these big uh, these these big old 
uh, things, these big uh, ears. <laughs> Um, so that's going to be what the, the meat of this working on or of what we'll be working on will be. Um, and you can see there's some little, uh, 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 buddy of mine that is an excellent, uh, costume crafts person, um, kind of helped me look at this. And he pointed out a lot of great details of, uh, like these straps that seem like you can see on this side, they go through it and attach to here. Um, there's not any, uh, headband or anything on him. It's kept on by suction with this, uh, like bladder that goes into his pocket, which is insane uh, and sounds painful. I will not be doing that. I will be putting them on, uh, either a pair of old headphones or a headband. Um, but we'll, I will want to make this kind of weird, uh, extra shape, um, that'll go on uh, around that piece to, to attach to my head. Um, these kind of dowels across with little, uh, pieces there and then some like uh nail uh bracket type things and we know that uh uh or rivets i guess they're um it's not gonna be perfect <laughs> um and we're, we're definitely gonna start with just getting this uh this shape together um and and yeah because that's kind of the the core uh conceit of this without that part it's not really a costume at all so uh that's what we're we're looking at i haven't figured out if i'm going to try to find some old jacket like this or if i'll just wear them with clothes um but yeah that's that's the plan um we're going to be making it out of eva foam which i've never worked with before i'm a big cardboard guy uh and have been for a long time um, so I probably would have made this out of like cereal, uh, boxes or maybe, maybe corrugated cardboard, but, or like corrugated cardboard for the flat part and then rounded with, uh, uh, cereal, yeah, cereal box, kind of like half cardstock stuff. Um, and then, uh, the, maybe some paper mache I would do. So anyways, we're switching to EVA foam, which, uh, to do that, we'll want to cut out a pattern. Um, I was thinking we talked about maybe just like shaping it as as I go, but I think it'll be easier to shape if it's in um, slices. And I haven't, I have, I I'm still torn on whether or not it should be sliced across this way as well as you know along the curve. Um, it's just another seam that I'd had to work out. So I might, uh, it's going to be big though, right? This is pretty large. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And if it doesn't go well on the first piece, we might cut the, cut them in half and go, uh, try that way. But I think too, having the, the means of curving from the center out of that foam will be easier to do, um, than doing it just from the half. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, if we, so if we look at the shape of this thing, it's like, uh, these are like quarters of a sphere. This It's like a dome that you've taken and then you crack it in half and the bottom face of the dome becomes the, the part that's up aside the wearer's ear and the middle of the dome becomes the hollow part. Um, so uh, the, when I've looked up on, on YouTube of like how do people make foam domes, most of them are like, oh, take a... a, a a bike helmet, a skateboard helmet, or take a basketball. Um, I don't have a ball that's is <laughs> to, to create around. I don't have anything like that, that that is that size. So I'm going to try to make a half dome out of cardboard um, that's to the dimensions that we want and then create a pattern from that. So wrap that and then um, go go from there. So the the kind of order of operations here is going to be make measure we got to figure out how big this thing should be measure it put it together out of cardboard make the dome the half the yeah half dome quarter sphere not a quarter i want to say quarter dome because of the tents this is the size of tent you get um or a type of a shape of tent a a half dome you can probably get a half dome tent too right it's probably probably a thing uh half so, a, yeah, a half dome out of cardboard frame, wrap that, draw our pattern on it, 
um, transfer that to paper for the pattern and then cut it out of the foam. Heat, take the heat gun, shape the foam to curve it um, for, the, for the curved part, obviously, and then uh, glue it together. And then find, I, I haven't gotten dowel rods yet. I haven't gotten like the tubing. So there's a whole like painting process there. Um, I'll probably use like, uh, I have some like cheapo, uh, how, where, how could I get that? Where, uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> um, foam for like the rivets and things, the little, the smaller details, um, maybe some rubber bands or like a thick type of, uh, fishing line for, for these things, um, that'll wrap around to the outside. And then this, this thing I'll probably make out of the cheap foam too, uh, and get that all attached. And then, yeah, I need to get some headphones to fix it too. But again, we're starting with like the biggest part of this, the hardest, uh, piece to make. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've never worked with foam, so it'll be a real, real journey. Um, I've got, I've got somewhere to be in a, in a while. So we're just going to see how far we can get at this point and then, uh, might come back on later tonight to continue. Uh, probably will. This is, uh, <laughs> it's early for your Halloween costume, right? Uh, not compared to people who are real serious about it. And, uh, in my case, even we're, uh, I had, I have a I have a, a social event that requires a costume next weekend, so we're we're down to the wire. We're less than a week away from that, so really need to uh, put a fire on this, and uh, not just from the heat gun. Um, <clears throat> all right, so in uh, in looking at this, uh, we've got I my uh, or my keyboard. There we go. I was like, I'm trying to zoom, but the keyboard is not picking it up. Um, so looking at this and trying to think about how big it should be, I see, uh, I, the, the fastest way for me to think through this is to measure it based on, um, how big his head is. <laughs> so really all, all, and I, I, you know, uh, a, a wiser man might try to like find this schematic online, um, but you know, I I don't did the did the Dutch army keep historical records like that? I'm not sure. All right, so this is we'll just we'll say how many heads it is, and then we'll just make that to scale to my head. Uh, I've done that with another. I made a, a business fish mask that looked like it was business fish only because I wore a suit after, but I made it look like Sir Squirt from uh, uh, Fish Center Live, Gal Galaxy King number one. Um, or not, I don't think he was the first one, but he was number one in my heart. He was my favorite, uh, <clears throat> RIP, uh, to both fish center and sir squirt. But anyhow, um, so yeah, we'll start with measuring his head. That's about a head size. I hope maybe I'll change to a, a brighter color here. Um, so that, <laughs> am I on the right layer? No, there we go. Okay. Um, uh, so it sticks out a little bit more. Um, and then we'll take this and say, how, uh, how many of these is it? So there's one. Two, two and, two and change. <laughs> uh, how much of a, of a head do you think this section is in the middle? Oh, come on. So let's see, that's like one. Oops. Capturing too much of it. One. <laughs> uh, I'm a pretty sloppy paint.net user, so this is a little challenging for me. I don't even know that we need to be this precise either, but it can't hurt, right? So I'm gonna that's about a third, right? So two two and a third heads uh is how tall this is. Um We're now gonna measure my head. 
<laughs> for real, I had, I had done this. I had done this earlier with a with a ruler and just kind of holding it up in the mirror and trying to do that. But then I realized, oh, we can use a tape measure. Um, so if I start at like my forehead and come down to about my chin here, look at that. Pretty much right on the money, eight inches. Uh, eight eight inch head on yours truly. So. Uh, I think to, to save myself some math, I'm going to do two and a quarter instead of two and a third for how tall this will be. Um, so that'll be uh, 18 uh, inches, if I am not mistaken, uh, which I might be. Let's see. <laughs> I, think, I think that's about right. Um, Using algebra every day, uh, so with <laughs> uh, so that's that part's going to be eighteen inches, and then I think from um, thinking through like how deep is it is a lot harder to I mean from my mathematical understanding, um, like that's not how perspective works, right? We could definitely math all this out, but. Um, if we assume that this is a true quarter of a dome and not like it that if we were to put these together it would be and then and then double it again it would actually make a full sphere um we can figure it out from that way so that would be nine nine inch uh radius all around uh and even then, should we care to, we, we could make this a little shorter. Like if we, and I want to visualize how deep a nine, nine inch, uh, how far back that would be. I, can I get all the way? Uh, uh. Like that's pretty good. I think that that would be just about on a... Uh, you know, just sticking out of either side of my head, which looks about right. So I think that'll that'll be um, that'll be easy. Now nine inches out from this part of my head is quite a bit longer. Uh, so we might want to make that a little shorter. But that uh, I know I don't, and I, I had to get real far back here to be able to see that. So that's it. <laughs> Scooching around in the chair. That's at six. Cause like nine, that seems too long, to me. I don't know about you, but like that seems a bit extra. So I think we might just do it six tall. Uh, that that might be a little, a little bit more reasonable. I don't know if you could hear me back there. I, uh, my mic's pretty sensitive with that. I, I think nine inches out from from the head's too far. Hmm. Right, that's, I guess, how far, how far out's the shoulder? It'd definitely be past my shoulders, which doesn't look like uh, this guy's R. So I think we'll do it six. I think we'll do six, six tall, but a, uh, a nine inch radius of the rest of it. So, excuse me. Um... So the pieces that we're gonna need, and I'm, I'm gonna switch to this, uh, and this is all this is all rough, right? We're gonna say that this is nine. tall, and then uh, you know what? this will be easier to draw just from a circle. Hey, that's a square. <laughs> what are we doing? All right. <clears throat> so. I didn't want to do this. Smarter. Okay. So. This will be the flat piece 
here is nine and we'll need two of those where that's nine and so much wider this is or this will be nine this will be 18 and we need two of those um <clears throat> And then that's the flat, the flat piece, the curved piece, uh, which is a much different shape. And another possibility too is to just like uh, my and my my friend recommended this to just try to uh, take post-it notes and and cut them and figure out how do you what what shape bends into making you know this this shape uh here if we've got the half circle so we might do that before we get too far um honestly just because we don't you know uh we don't want to go too crazy but we can uh we can at least figure out Ooh, can we though having having a non-perfect sphere makes coming up with the uh perimeter quite a bit or the you know the surface area of it a bit harder huh Because I think this would be, hmm. You would you would need to like sort of bisect the the dome early. Hmm. So if we try, let's see, if we're, if we're, oh man, this is where, where paying more attention in maths would have, uh, would have really helped me. This though would be easy because this, so the angle, I'm going to draw this out. Do I have a bigger piece of paper? <laughs> Maybe not. All right. <clears throat> so we've got we've got that one. The and this what an awful view for you, the viewer. You're not going to be able to see on this tiny piece of paper. <laughs> um, if we're coming up with this, it's we're starting with a flat piece, right? And then it's got a curve into something where we've got 18 here and this part is six and it'll go nine back. So there's there's a, a triangle in the middle of that that's nine here, six here. I think we can do this. I think, and I think it'll be easier to, to make kind of eyeball the dome shape out of cardboard if we if we cut these pieces here's a, a view here uh, uh, a view here um if we if we cut out those those shapes these the the round the half circle and the uh kind of the l there and create the the binding points in between because they won't, yeah, it won't be super consistent. So I, yeah, I might just get started on it. <laughs> we'll go from there. It's, you know, this is, it's, I, I don't, I'm not anticipating this to be perfect. It's, it's really, it's the first, first effort on uh, doing something like this. Um, I do want to try, like, what's it like to cut, uh, or what, trying to imagine what that shape will be before, before we have it. Um, so if I uh, take my post-it here, kind of to scale, and we'll just do, we'll do nine uh, centimeters here, instead of 18, and then we'll do, 
that's not I'm not gonna have enough uh, paper here to do the bottom piece so we'll take one of these instead I do you have larger paper okay <clears throat> So here's our base. Oh, I should mark the halfway so I can make sure to get that curve as close as possible. It's not gonna be perfect. We know it's not gonna be perfect. And then four and a half up, right? Yep. Let's try to do our do our best to draw in a circle. Whoop, album change. Love Supreme was nice. Doesn't look like it changed though. Oh, you know what? Because the cursor's not following playback. Let me change that real quick. We're now listening to the Matson 2 album Paradise. Put that on if you'd like to listen at home. Scissors. Got him. Uh <clears throat> Oh, and you know what? Now that we we know what this guy looks like. Let's uh let's switch this up. Yep. Um that's a little bit better, right? Whoop. <laughs> we almost knocked over our little glass of sparkling water here. <laughs> Would have been a fun fun day at the <laughs> at the desk. Okay, so we um, now you can definitely see better. I totally forgot that I had this view set up. We had a perfect perfect uh, uh, cue with the album change to be like, oh yeah. Uh, all right, so we've got our, our half circle here. I might it might be wise for me to reverse this also, um, but not for now. Uh, I'm going to cut this out. We're, of course, using... I took, uh, when, uh, uh, we're using, uh, my former employer recently, uh, acquired but when when <laughs> this very very old paper with the old slogan if it can't be drawn it can't be built which is just such a uh, that's a nice one uh to have on a blank piece of paper my favorite use of it was uh and i think this is maybe on my instagram or something um uh drawing a really muscular garfield on it and saying uh, if garfield can't be drawn garfield can't be built but you know garfield was built in that way. All right, so now we've got this this piece for the ear, um, which uh, I, I'm going to hold up in front of me to, <laughs> to look at the... I still have the picture of the guy up here. So um, we're looking at that and thinking about how to take a uh, another piece of paper and having it shape around that in a way that's going to be only six inches up from here so which will be in our scale three centimeters so why don't we cut that out And I, we'll just do a, like a little slice. Uh, I'm actually going to really quickly switch this up so that we don't keep going in. Because I think it looks to me like the thing after this album is... Uh, some recording of pictures at an exhibition which uh folks may or may not have <laughs> are you gonna be able to find it specifically uh probably not okay should be back this track's called uh wavelength great album 
I've got it on wax. You might too. If you like the Matson too, they're twins. They the one of them plays drums and the other one plays guitar and bass. It's got a cool double neck thing for when they're live. Would recommend. Okay, so here's our little to scale six piece. Do they both sing? Probably. Hard to say is if it's voice doubling because they're twins. Nah, I know twins don't have exactly the same voice, but something to think about. Okay, so now we've got this little piece here. So this is our just our height marker. Uh, and I'm going to get my hot glue gun and plug it in. I've got a kind of a weird, you can see this outline here, uh, it's like a semi-drafting table and I'm probably going to get a new desk, but the one thing I like about it is that I can pop cables down through the hole in it, uh, which has me thinking, gosh, am I just going to have to drill a hole in whatever new desk I get? Uh, hopefully not, because I don't have a drill. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll use that post-it from before there. Get that plugged in. So uh, once that heats up, I think, but until it heats up, I'm just gonna try to uh, eyeball. So knowing that this other, this piece also needs to be uh, it's gotta be our four and a half centimeters long here and uh, and then whatever from that curve. So in the center of it, it'll be four. Let's see. We'll just make a little little slice of paper here. That's at that tall. I'm looking at the outline underneath this. I think it's going to be a little misshapen, but I think because I think we're we're going to need more than this, right? To do uh, you know what I should have done is put it in the middle of it because that's that's not right. That's not the middle. <laughs> This is not going to necessarily look like the middle because of the difference in color on it, but we'll know from the shape. All right, so looking at that. <laughs> and it's got to be this tall. What does this look like to you, the viewer? Not like much, huh? <laughs> Yeah, so it's got to be this, duh. This part has to be longer to get all the way back there. Uh, longer than the four and a half, because this will just make what would be like a cylinder around it. So uh, let's get a new piece of paper. This is, I uh, uh, have lots. We don't want to waste, though. I don't want to encourage wasting stuff. Um,. So let's try, it's obviously not the full length of this. Would it be if we cut out? Huh, <sighs> hmm. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of stumped here. <laughs> I 
The uh, streamer thing's telling me my latency's bad, so I hope it's not too bad. Well, I guess we'll see on the replay. Doesn't look like uh, getting any chance so far. That's all right. I don't know how many people do crafting on Twitch. You know, before I started streaming, I didn't, I hadn't really investigated anything about it, except for a uh, friend of the show, Matt, telling me what apps are good. <laughs> Thankfully, one of them I'd used before for other stuff. I think too the the challenge here is that paper's not exactly the most like malleable thing. So what we need is is a curve here that is is gonna come back down at what would be our uh, four and a half here. So from the six, which I'm gonna pinpoint it like there. Definitely more than our, this is just an eyeball. Okay. And it's not gonna be a, a circle shape because it's gonna have to line up down here. Uh, so let's just try it, let's cut out slightly smaller square. I'm going to give myself a little bit of, or a rectangular, rather. Um, give myself a little bit of breathing room here. How are we doing on the hot glue? Good enough. Alright, so I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue right here. And then we're going to stick this piece here. It's, you know, we're really just looking for the shape, so I'm not going to worry if it's exactly right. So we're just trying to set some expectations for ourselves. Sorry, I held that up close to my face, so you uh, might have not been able to see it. All right, so now we got a little bit of, of <laughs> I spoke too soon. My crafting show is is like, you know, maybe there's some talking like with Bob Ross, but at the end of the day it's more it's closer to what if Bob Ross didn't know what he was doing. Part of I guess part of the idea is that you can too, right? Or avoiding burning ourselves. Okay. So this is slightly slightly less than how we want it, but at least it's sticking up. So make it easier to figure out the curve here. We can see there's a good angle like that maybe. <laughs> and then I cover it up. <laughs> okay, so I think definitely have too much here. Let's see, I'm gonna fold this along that little dot point that I made to see if that's closer to right. Putting it at the back. Okay, it's a little off. So maybe just a little more here, and that's not a straight line. Also, it's the wrong direction. See this camera angle? I want to be working up here, but it's not uh, not where you'd be able to see it. Looks like I'm, I'm rolling something beefy. <laughs> uh, okay. That looks pretty good to me. So let's cut along this line. Ish. I'm trying to keep all my scraps over here so that I can recycle them later. All right. So now if this is here, and we got a nice bend to it, how the heck do we, will we curve along this in a way where, I guess, so I guess the thing now would be to take this and glue it and then we'll we can cut 
just with our eyeballs what it'll look like. Uh, and then maybe we can measure that and see if when we're making our dome if that's pretty close. Another possibility is that the dome plan doesn't go well. Uh, you know, I wouldn't rule that out. So I'm take I'm taking this and just sticking it along our goopy edge with the hot glue. I love hot glue. Uh, if you're sort of careful, you won't burn yourself. Uh, and if you're sloppy, burning yourself doesn't hurt that much. Uh, I've heard that's not the case with the heat gun. So <laughs> can going to avoid a, a definitely going to be in a, a safety state of mind for the heat gunning. Uh, something dangerous like that. Not quite the same as uh, putzing around with hot glue and paper. Or cardboard. Which is, you know, a, a, a two to three beer activity, you might call it. Or can be, anyways. <laughs> Not necessary. All right, so now we've got our, our little... Oh, gosh, where are we? Here we are. So here's our nice 3D view of this. We're also up here. Hello. Um, and so I know that this needs to come down to here. But what... So what does that look like for the rest of it? Hmm. I don't know if any of you all are out there like really good visual uh, thinkers. That you can see this in your mind. I certainly am not. The tac tactile learner, I think, is the the official phrase. Okay, so this is facing me so I can see it, but I'm going to face it towards you so you can see it. So looking at this and knowing that we need it to curve along here, I mean, obviously, right, we're, we're going to cut off some of this stuff here. So I'm going to cut off a little, just a, a little bit of the corners to try to make that a little bit easier, um, a little bit easier on us. To kind of get our amphitheater going and I didn't want to do too much because I think I, I might have already done it too much um, that because like yeah and it's obviously a flawed medium in a way we've got a lot of extra floating out here so If I cut along this, this should it be swooping in instead of rounded out? Do I need to be doing like a inverse? Let's try it on half. Ooh, that's hard to cut. And I think the answer is going to be no. Just looking at it. <laughs> oh boy, that's not right. Oh gosh. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can salvage it. So, I mean, this is this has got to come. Like that would be it if we were if we were going that tall. So, I think it is just like a a, a tighter circle down. So let's see. Can y'all see this? No. Okay. Sorry. We're learning. We're learning about how to stream arts and crafts. All right. I think I cut off a little bit from my, uh, but that's not quite right. So it's got, it's, it's a different slope. We're making progress, I, I suppose. <laughs> Let's all right. I'm going to go all out here and just 
glue this. Ooh, I can feel that heat through this thin paper. Ouchie. Okay, so now we can see that this is definitely incorrect in uh, all of its ways. <laughs> both, both halves are not how we would want to do this, but we can keep trying. Practice makes purple. So if we cut, if we cut, now, so th I, I know we've messed up because we've lost the kind of the flatness here, the, the strict uh, edge of what, so maybe next time I should cut just along this face, like fold it down and cut along that, uh, well not fold it down, but, hmm. Okay, so that one didn't work. Not a problem. Here's another beauty of hot glue is that if you want to remove it or it un undo what it's binding, it kind of just peels off. Uh, granted, you get more hot glue each time, but just peeled that right off. Back to our uh, original piece here. And we'll get another piece of paper. Make sure the hot glue can't be recycled, so I'm going to tear off the parts that have glue on them and put them in a separate pile here. What's this? I don't know what this is. Another piece of scrap paper. That can go in the... Uh, and then... Uh, oh, this is my uh, fantasy draft info. It's NFL Sunday. Uh, I don't know if any of you play fantasy football, but I do. I'm doing very bad this year so far. So definitely, I think starting this week, if my team's watching, don't listen, cover your ears, but I'm going to be on the waiver wire. There's no way that they're going to go for the same people as me because I just pick rando losers and uh, it doesn't go well. <laughs> All right. So I've got maybe 10 minutes here before, <laughs> before it's time to go. So... Um, We'll see. We'll see if we can get this. Uh, and I do. Okay, so we had something right here. Now I've lost the scrap. I guess it, we we tore off the glue part, so it's not going to be right anymore. Dang it. Uh, okay, so this <laughs> this has got to be. Uh, we lost our, our uh, fold point. So what I'm going to do, let's just start with the whole piece of paper. Which is definitely not uh, the right size or anything, but sheesh. Okay. One of the things when working with hot glue for sculpture is that you need to like kind of clean up at the end of it all. Ooh, and there's the hot glue on the desk. Uh, and it does come off uh, easily enough, but you really have to work to kind of clean up it. You can you can roll it off and pick it, and pretty okay in that way. Okay, so we're doing this. Oh boy. <laughs> just trying to get it a little bit right. And then we'll just start. Uh, Marx Brothers style. I don't remember which one it's from. Coconuts, maybe? Where uh, Harpo is. Uh, Harpo and Chico are cutting that guy's mustache. And Harpo uh, does it, and Chico says, No, no, that's not right. That's. that's too much on that side. You got to give it another another snoop on the left. So he gets the other, the left side, and he says, "No, no, that's not right. You got to give him another snoop on the right." And they go back and forth like this, and you can imagine what happens by the end of it. The guy doesn't have a mustache at all. 
And he uh, angrily chases them off. All right. We're definitely going to have to figure out how to bring this camera closer because I, I'm working close to the chest and it's not visible. But uh, I think with other other pieces, it's not so much like that usually. All right. We're going to cut a really wide shape here. Real wide. Big moth moth thing. Be a cool costume, just like some weird eyeball bonnet. Let's just let's just scrap this and do this something else instead. <laughs> Dude, being <laughs> that's what I get for doing something scientific and military related, right? Precision. Let's let's play into your your weak suit here. Um, all right, so I uh, am afraid of cutting uh, direct across, so I'm going to start with little triangles here. To the points where I need. Now we got kind of a Wu Tang shape uh, for the children. Okay, so now thinking about our what the idea from before that we want to kind of keep this straight line here along the curve. Would it be just cutting it there? Would that do it? I'm too afraid to. <laughs> so we'll just keep on. We're cutting more pizza slices out. We're we're widening our our Wu Tang W. And I'm already a little hesitant about this, so. I think. I'm gonna do something like that a little bit. Okay, that's progress. Now, do we need to come in here, maybe? A little bit? Should I just take, lop it off there? I'm just, I'm too afraid to, but I feel like that might be the move. If we get one half of this right, we can always just fold it the other way. Let's do it. We're doing it. Okay, that's not quite right. But maybe... It's better than last time, though. So there's something in here. And you know another thing? Maybe we can cut it in the middle and then reaffix it make like with folding imagining what that shape would be okay so imagining this shape we would cut out I mean this is it this is more or less what we want should have thought of that sooner. So going from here to here. I guess what I can do is just slice down here. The, you know, the, the, the inverse of that and then put them back together <clears throat> and so this too that move right there that we just did that's what I'm thinking is going to be easier to cut the foam that way really so we might even imagine our cut cut and and re-glue the foam now obviously we don't want it to be that uh janky looking i don't know if you all can see that crease as well as i can but it's it's not a uh, it ain't great <laughs> you might say um <clears throat> okay so let's that was pretty close right that we just did this cut across let's see if we can figure it out fully on this side without doing that move. I well, I don't think we can, right? Because it's the shape the shape that we're making it's it's the the flatness here that's not right. So we it's it's some this this isn't this is a curve, right? Duh. Uh so I think that's we're going to have to have to do this again. Um so I'm going to cut another one here. 
and just do some, some magic folding. Look at that. Pretty slick. And we'll just cut this whole piece off. Or pull it, rather, because these scissors can't cut through. Dang, uh... Hot glue. Nor should they. And then if I glue that down... Well, it's ugly, <laughs> but it's... <laughs> it's pretty close. So I think, um... I'm going to do a little trim in here. I I think this is pretty close to what we're wanting, and I think that's going to be enough. It's not it's not quite right. What we can do is take this apart, see what the shape is flattened, and then uh, we'll know that our construction piece will look roughly like that. Um, so let's do it. I just put some glue down, but I don't really care. Peel this off. Ooh, and it's right on the money of needing to leave for me. Okay, so this is our 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 shape, and I'm gonna try to flatten that, kind of like a weird football, huh? So, <laughs> here's the we're gonna need a piece like this that's taller and longer than this one. Uh, so maybe we'll do a little math to figure that out. Alternatively, we'll make the dome out of cardboard and just cover it, uh, which was my initial plan. So I think. As much as I'd like to to like just do it with math and then use the heat gun to curve it back, I just don't trust myself. Like how how hard was this? Uh, and we were, we've been at it for uh, about an hour. <laughs> it's not. I guess we we're, we've only been shaping and cutting for for less than that. Maybe maybe half an hour, thirty five, but uh, forty five maybe. I wasn't paying attention. Hi, thanks for thanks for uh, saying hello. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not going to trust like this with my math. So, uh, I, as I mentioned before, I've unfortunately got to sign off, but, um, I'll come back later and I think we'll do, we'll, we'll make the thing out of cardboard. We'll shape it and then we'll, we'll cut the pattern, uh, from that directly. Uh, but anyhow, this is, uh, that's a bummer. I see that the latency is bad. I'll restart my computer and uh, we'll we'll try again. This one was kind of bonk anyway, so. <laughs> but I appreciate the message. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back here in an, in an hour or two, maybe probably closer to two hours, and we'll get going on trying this pattern again. But uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for the note about, uh, my stream lagging and hopefully we'll get that fixed, uh, coming in again, but thanks. And, oh, I got the camera here. Bye. Oh, and it's not there. I need to.